Hello, folks. What am I doing? As you can quite plainly see, I'm running something called DOSBox. This has nothing to do with any of my Steam Engine tutorials. Nothing with Steam Engine, nothing with sci-fi games. This is just something for a little fun. What am I doing? Something a little bit different. I am playing one of my favorite games of all time, and also widely considered one of the best games ever created in the strategy game universe. It is called... You're not going to get it out of this. From Microprose, 1995. It's an old game. XCOM, Terror from the Deep. It's like right there. This is an interesting game created in 1995, considered one of the hardest strategy games ever created. It's a sequel to XCOM UFO Defense, which was created in the early 1990s. That game was a smash hit, selling millions of copies, and was, it's up there, with Sid Meier Civilization as the second greatest strategy game of all time. This is the sequel, which is ten times harder. First game had its very hard quirks. It was demanding, challenging. It was pretty easy sometimes. At times it can be very easy. So they decided to make Terror from the Deep. And Terror from the Deep has improved AI. Harder strategies, bigger maps, everything's bigger and better and harder. It is scary at points. It'll make me jump, trust me, if I just jump, it's because this thing's scary. I'm not going to do a complete walkthrough. I'm just doing a little thing because my friends were asking, like, oh, what is this XCOM thing you're talking about? So, why not chill? And if for some reason I stopped producing videos, it's because I have a life. You know, I do have a life, and I was just doing this free weekend, why not? Anyway, let's begin. I have played a run-through of it and got myself into a bit of a pickle, because I went off the text tree. The, the only glitch, the big major glitch with Terra from the Deep that people don't like is that um, if you uh, skip out of the text tree which they have and you go around and take, pick other text, it'll you won't be able to finish the game. Yeah, that's a big bug. You won't be able to finish the game if you make a mistake. Um, so people invented, and it's sort of like Minecraft edit, it's called, um, XCOM Utilities. It allows you to fix any of the, mic the um, pff, Minecraft, sorry, uh, XCOM games to what the problem is. So I can add technologies, add people, revive people, reorganize my base and everything. Because people found flaws, and because this is DOS, it was easy to hack into and fix, so. Um, to give a little background story... XCOM from Terror from the Deep was. Hang on, I have to set my timer, I forgot. Okay. Um, XCOM is an organization to fight extraterrestrials, aliens. Might seem like a corny plot, but it's good. The first game, I'm not going to ruin the ending. Aliens attacked in 1995. I believe it was the year, or 98. Aliens were attacking Earth and no one even knew why. Um, several attempts to stop the aliens failed, so. The world gathered together and formed XCOM, which is this. XCOM, they fought the war against the aliens. I'm not going to say how they won, but they won the war if you finish the game. And if you're in the second game, they assume that you won. But in this game, the aliens, everything's gone, everything's happy. We're settling, you know, the solar system. And all of a sudden, Earth is under attack by new alien threat. But this time, it's from under the sea. And your job is, as an XCOM commander, to figure out why they're attacking and how to stop them. So, I've played experience. I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to go on veteran. This is the S XCOM. This is the staple of XCOM. The Geoscape theme, where you can go see the world, set your time and everything. First thing you want to do is you want to assemble a base. A good place to set it is right there in the Mediterranean. Because you can. The way you win the game is if you get the most points. You get all the technology and you survive long enough that you figure out how to get to kill the alien threat by doing research and things, but during that time you have to sink alien UFOs that are flying by so that they don't kill people, so it's your job is to stop alien incursions. So you have to set up a base so that you can scan the area for incursions. And the Mediterranean is in the middle of like six, two continents at least. And maybe three if you can get Asia in towards the end. But these people will pay you each country. There's countries in the future. This is based in 2040. Countries that they assume are going to be there. They pay you money to keep you alive. And if you 
don't do what they want, they'll cut funding, and then you lose the game. So, I'm going to begin me calling this Italy. There we are. Alright, this is our base. We have several ships here. We have a trident, which is a troop carrier. We have two attack subs. To get into base schematics, you can see here, this is how it's set up. We don't like the way it's set up. When aliens invade your base, if they ever attack, they will arrive here in the um, pods here or in the axis lift. So you want to cut them off from your people. So I'm going to start building more facilities to fix this. I'm going to build two sub pens up here. I like to keep both the barracudas. Always good to have two attack vehicles. Oh, oops. Sorry. The, um, the DOS controls are very sensitive. So even the tiniest movement will hurt. So we're going to put more living quarters down here. And I don't want to run out of money, so I'm just going to put an alien containment. I want to put one de torpedo defense. There's always a chance you're going to be under attack. Damn it, there's the alien containment there. Now when these are done, I'm going to demolish this, that, and that. And everything will be transferred, so. We're done building stuff for our base. We're going to be pretty filled so far. Next thing you want to do is you want to take a look at your aquanauts. These are your soldiers. The bravery. Anybody with a low bravery, just get rid of them. Flat, I'll get rid of them. Then they're gonna kill. They're gonna hurt you in the end. I'll show you in the battle phases. There's morale and everything. Anybody who's below 30 or 30, just get rid of them. They're terrible. People with 60, that's good. And you usually start off with a batch of some okay soldiers. Except the, if you're lucky, you'll get some really awesome ones. But if you're like me, I'm gonna have to slaughter some. <laughs> You don't, it doesn't mean that they're killed, it just means that they're, um, fired. And to sell them. Oh gosh, there's so many of the bad ones in there. But you'll see why I'm doing this shortly. To sell them, not really selling them, you're just firing them. Because technically this is a private organization, like a business. And, uh, you're hiring people. So I'm going to purchase... Da, 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 da. What kind of opera? How many do we have? We have three. We need a total of at least nine. So six aquanauts I need to purchase for four thousand, forty thousand pop. Not gonna come cheap, but it's good. Next thing I want to do is I want to take a look at our base information. I want to see what we got. Um, storages, storage. This is very important. We're almost completely full of stores. So I'm gonna go back into that actually, because I just noticed that there's the store. This is what we have stocked up. We have torpedoes, a launcher, we have two launchers for torpedoes, gas cannon, Ajax torpedoes, which are the best. Actually, no, sorry, dope heads are the best. And, um, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to probably order the dope head torpedo launchers, more of them, and sell the Ajax. Ajaxes are just small torpedoes. I prefer the dope head because they one hit takes down a sub. Dark guns, we're going to get rid of them. They're completely useless. Harpoons, they're good. We want to have a. We want to have the incendiary ammo for the hydrojet cannon, and we want a regular ammo. Okay, to bring on here. Okay, good. I'm gonna go into the buying phase again. Hang on. He's persistent. <laughs> Sorry about that. Whoever's calling me, I just can't come to the phone right now. <laughs> I'm gonna buy two Ajax launchers. I'm gonna buy one actually, just in case. I'm gonna buy. Did I buy Ajax? No, dope, yeah. Did I buy DUP? Just like that. Um, I would buy a um, tank, but they're very expensive, and I need the money. I'm going to buy the CAS, the uh, Phosphorus Bullets, which will emit light. Two of those, and I want two high incendiary. Five will do. I need to build up stock of two of those, just in case something goes hairy. Um, solid Harpoon Bolts, that's for the tank. I'm just, I'm just loading my base up now. Now for the hydrojet cannon. Now where's the torpedo launcher? I'm gonna buy some large torpedoes. These are important that you have a stock. Oh my gosh, he's persistent. I'm sorry, I can't answer the phone right now. I'll get six, twelve of these just in case. Oh, there we go. First round. Oh, that's the end of the episode, guys. Sorry about that. I'm going to have to call quits here. You'll see the next episode coming up very shortly. So, thank you guys for watching.